Hey everybody, it's Hyper. I just wanted to make a quick video for today's patch, which is, let's see, one second off the top of my head, I don't remember what it was, but we're on patch 0.853070162. And this, uh, actually, we got some pretty cool stuff. Um, first off, I want to show you something that um, I'm going to have to do some testing on and balancing on just to see that uh, it's proper, because um, if you guys remember, there used to be vehicle damage in Scum, and as of this morning, it is back. And this could be either a blessing or a very, very bad omen, because um, if you guys remember, I don't know how many of you have been playing that long, but if you hit a sign or a rock going like 20 kilometers an hour, your car could explode. So the cars were basically made of paper mache that was wet in the rain. So they were very flim flimsy. So let's, let's test it out. Now that there's vehicle damage again, we're gonna, we're gonna get some good, decent speed. We'll go like 30 something kph into this house and see there you go we lost probably i got five or six percent of our health right there uh, probably more more like maybe eight nine ten maybe percent so vehicle damage is back it looks like the cars are flimsy as ever but you could also do this so this is one of my favorite things to do in scum and that is run over puppets it looks like they're still they still need to work on the collision of puppets because the collision's a bit off but hey at least we can run over puppets again and players i've been waiting to do that for a very long time and that nice little crunch and smack sound is pretty satisfying when you hit a puppet anyways. So let's get some speed. Run through that puppet. And let's see if we can get these ones dead as well. Come on, get over here. It doesn't look like they're taking very much damage at all though. Look how many times I'm hitting them, so... Eh, I think they, they took out the fun part of it, but... You used to be able to send them flying and hit them at like 40 miles an hour, they would die, but... I don't know, it needs some work, needs some work. But hey, you can see, the collision is there, uh, damage is there, so you're gonna actually have to worry about repairing your vehicles and being careful with how you drive. Gone are the days of haphazardly ramming into stuff like this, because <laughs> that's not gonna work out for you. The next thing we have over here um, is actually pretty cool. We've been needing stuff like this for quite a while. You can actually properly charge batteries now. Let me go into first person for this part. But yeah, we have the medium battery charger, and you can, um, you can actually, let's go to crafting right here. Uh, where is it, where is it, where is it, where is it? If I'm not mistaken, oh yeah, right here, medium. Under your uh, basic medium and advanced engineering skill, you can craft a medium battery charger. And it uses pretty basic ingredients that I, you, they're pretty common on the island, so anybody can recharge car batteries and stuff quite easily. You just need a small generator, you need some gasoline to power the generator, turn the generator on, and then you open the inventory of the battery charger. You can grab your car battery and just pop that right in there, and then it'll give you a status fully charged. This one wasn't fully charged, but I accidentally fully charged it right before the video. So um, it'll tell you how many amps it has, like a negative symbol. Just pop it in there, and over time it will charge. Super cool. Glad they added that to the game. So now we have a way to charge batteries up we find in the world, which was something we needed for a very long time. The next thing we have is this. This is the improvised glass ship. Super cool. You can craft it using, um, where, where is it? Right here. Uh, is it in medium? No, right here. Right next to the standard stone knife. You just need a glass bottle of some kind, some rags, and a crowbar or some other blunt object to smack it with. And you got yourself an improvised ship. So, pretty cool stuff. Pretty cool stuff. Glad we have it. Let's see. Can it damage the car very well? No, I didn't want to do that. Uh, let's see. Does it damage the car very well? Car is at 80% health. Let's take this in hands. Can you destroy a car with a shiv? I'm sure you can pop the tires. No? It's not letting me pop the tires. Let me see. Can I... Huh, interesting. Yeah, it doesn't look like you damage a vehicle with it, but you definitely could put some hurt on some people or zombies. And uh, I think it does more damage than the standard knife, so that's pretty cool too. It's got those two blades right there, so this thing looks really gnarly. It's going to be a lot of fun to start using that survival worlds. Um, the last thing we have, I'm going to have to show you in first person again. This is burn gel and improvised burn gel. And as you guessed it, you can now catch fire in scum. So let's, uh, let's do a little experiment right here. Let's go see what happens when I walk into this fire let's see and there you go i'm not on fire just yet let's see will i catch fire 
No, I didn't catch fire, but I probably should have burns. Let me see. Pain, feeling hot. Oh, understandable. And there you go. Burn injuries. They're at it. I have, wow, like 10 burn injuries, which makes sense. My legs and my lower body was pretty much on fire. And all you do, take the burn gel into your inventory, go to metabolism, treat, and then you can apply the burn gel. And what it does is it, um, honestly, it just helps you stabilize burn injuries faster, right? That's what it does. It prevents them from progressing. And see how this one's healing a lot faster than the other ones? That's what it does. Really good stuff. And it helps with the pain, too. So, I mean, it's just good stuff, guys. It's just more in-depth mechanics, more survival, more realism. And I do believe you can't catch fire from the flamethrowers in the large mechs now. So we're going to have to test that out later. I'm not going to do it in this really quick little video. But yeah, thanks for tuning in, guys. You can see our base for the clans is going on greatly. You guys want to join us this weekend for the official server launch. It's going to be uh, Saturday, 6 p.m. CST. We're going to do an event, some mini games, all kinds of other fun stuff. So I would love to see you all come on. Uh, we're in the clans, and we're looking for people to join the IS Alliance and get this faction server war going. We have a lot of cool stuff on the server. Check out the other videos, the streams. I appreciate guys, or excuse me, I appreciate all your guys' support, and I can't wait to see you guys in the next video. So, I will catch you then. Peace!